Hello, today is a special edition sort of video for Death Awareness Month. On September 25th, I let the internet know that I wanted to launch hashtag no more captions. Very similar to my lights, camera, captions campaign sort of thing that I had going on a little while ago, but I saved that title for more of my workshop or VidCon and wherever else I would have that workshop. And I wanted to make a video for it because this is my campaign, right? Well, it's everybody's campaign, but it has my name on it. Anyways, anyways, whatever, not the point. But I wanted to make a video because why would but i wanted to try to figure out how to make a video that wasn't a broken record because i can only say hey caption your videos so many times right but then i realized something well there are some people that know how to put on the captions they don't necessarily understand how to format them correctly they don't really follow the fcc guidelines fcc doesn't really control youtube so really you're not legally required to make it like so but if you wanted to make it as proper as possible i'm gonna tell you how and i haven't covered that yet so it's perfect right and this is going to be very helpful for those of you who submit captions and subtitles to your favorite youtubers and i don't mean the joke i mean, let me emphasize once again do not add jokes to the captions it's ridiculous and the fcc would yell at you for it yell at you so for actual real captions this is how it works so i've opened up the fcc page and in case you don't know the fcc stands for federal communications commission and they actually have a consumer guide for those of you that are you know in the tv industry or if you're just you know making videos like i do and you want to add the proper caption so i'm going to read what closed captioning is because a lot of people have had the tendency to argue to us about what closed captioning actually is because there's one YouTuber's fan base that is currently taking a crap on the deaf community and writing insults left and right. So, closed captioning displays the audio portion of a television program as text on the TV screen, providing a critical link to news, entertainment, and information for individuals who are deaf and hard of hearing. Congress requires video programming distributors, cable operators, broadcasters, satellite distributors, and other multi-channel video programming distributors to closed caption in their TV programs. So really, if you thought about it, shows like, say, Philip DeFranco, who I will use that example soon, or SourceFed, or whatever, really, they kind of fit into the whole business thing where you would expect that professional captions would be done. It kind of counts, it kind of doesn't count, I'm not really sure, but those shows kind of fit right in the middle there. So here are the FCC closed captioning rules. FCC rules for TV closed captioning ensure that viewers who are deaf and hard of hearing have full access to programming, address captioning quality, and provide guidance to video programming distributors and programmers. The rules apply to all television programming with captions, requiring that captions be accurate. Captions must must match the spoken words and the dialogue and convey background noises and other sounds to the fullest extent possible. Synchronous. Is that how you say it? Captions must coin coincide. Captions must coincide. I have no idea if that's how you pronounce that word. With their corresponding spoken words and sounds to the greatest extent possible and must be displayed on a screen at a speed that can be read by viewers. Complete. This is the most important part. Complete. Captions must run from the beginning to the end of the program to the fullest extent possible. Properly placed. Captions should not block other important visual content on the screen, overlap one another, or run off the edge of the video screen. Here are a few examples. I don't think that the example that I am going to show you is going to have this one particular thing that I want to talk about, but I do want to say if you have like graphics over here, like say if I posted um, a picture, or if I had another piece of like of information, like a text box, if I had, FYI, my favorite color is blue, like on this section over here, the captions cannot go over that because you have to be able to see this piece of information as well as the information down here. Now there are a few exemptions from this rule and I'll just show that right here in this little graphic. So you can go back over and read that. I will also link this guide down below. Now I wanna show you this example of captions. So these are already there and I did actually contact the guy who wrote these and corrected him. So I thought when I did this video, this would be a great example. Now I do watch Philip DeFranco's show. I think that he has some interesting viewpoints. Do I agree with everything he says? No, but I do like to watch the show. It's a new show that I usually enjoy. However, his content is not 100% captioned. However, the content that is captioned, usually they're pretty good. However, I feel like because the Philip DeFranco show, SourceFed, those things are businesses. They're really big businesses. Professional captions will probably be more suitable. In fact, SourceFed's Facebook has captions on the video. However, the videos on the YouTube channel, which are the exact same videos, do not. Yes, I have made a note. It's a little weird, but... It's like, hey.
Could you? Please? So if you look at uh, this one particular part in the captions, the very first sentence where it says Frank's usual, sup you beautiful bastards, hope you're having a fantastic Wednesday. Welcome back to the Philip DeFranco Show. Let's just jump right into it. So as you can see, there's four lines in that section and that section is going to show up when you watch the video itself. And frankly, it's just too much stacked up on top of each other. So ideally, you don't wanna have more than two lines. And as you can see, a couple of more of these boxes have three lines. It's just too cluttered. Now I don't know if the SEC rules when they say that things shouldn't overlap. I don't know if that also means the captions itself, but I noticed that on television most lines, most of the lines do not go more than two. So really that's where you want to be. That's the perfect amount of space. Otherwise you're gonna start covering some things up and it doesn't look really good. And it could take a lot longer to actually read it and then stuff goes on faster, but the captions are still there. Now I've noticed a couple of channels have run on sentences. Nothing is spaced out, nothing has punctuation, and that is also not a good thing to do. A lot of sentences on the captions, nothing is capitalized, and it's just, so you want to have proper grammar. Now, you can't expect everybody in the world to have the perfect knowledge on grammar. My grammar isn't all that great, said the news writer, but, but you know, do the basic stuff. Add a capitalization when it needs to be there, punctuation when it needs to be there. After one sentence, break, enter, and add in the next caption. Don't have everything just run on, run on, run on. It, it, doesn't, it doesn't look right. It doesn't match up the regulations. So if you want to have the proper caption, you need to format it correctly. But yeah, I think that's really about it. That's how you should be formatting your captions if you do create them yourself. And if you're somebody that's submitting them to your favorite YouTubers, there you go. I would actually encourage you, if you have it, to spend on average a video is about five to seven minutes, right? So if you have five to seven dollars lying around, I do encourage you to go to something like Rev, put in an order for one file for one of your videos, and then compare that to other videos to see what the difference is. So I did make this into a project, right? I wanted today, there should be multiple videos of people promoting really good captions and no more craptions, AKA the automatic captions that you turn on and it says something really, really bizarre. Often when you go on the comment section and you ask for captions, or even when you email YouTubers and ask them to put on appropriate captions, they will say to turn on the automatic captions. And they, they have never looked at them. And you know that because if they did look at them, they would never tell you to do that. So I was hoping that instead of having some people upload a video every you know couple of weeks, my goal was to just have as many people as possible upload a video on the same day and see how much more attention that could bring to the issue. So below in the info box, I will have links to all of the videos that I are uploading for this campaign. And I do encourage you to make your own video. It doesn't have to go up on this particular day. It doesn't have to go up on September 25th. Just upload it whenever you want. And I'm hoping that together we can make a positive change in the community. For all communities, for deaf and hard of hearing people, for those with auditory processing disorder, for those who are learning English or whatever language that they're watching the video in, for those that want to watch Gilmore Girls or Brooklyn Nine-Nine without waking up their neighbors or their roommates. Don't worry, I have you back. And then we just, we won't have any more craptions or we'll have less craptions. No more craptions.
you want to follow me on all my social media, links to that will be down below. If you want to support me monthly on Patreon, links to that will be down below. You get letters, gifts to help me fund content. It's a great little thing. I upload every Monday and Thursday unless otherwise stated. And I will see you later. Bye.